What does it say about this team after struggling all day long to come back and score the runs that they did in the sixth and seventh inning? You know, they, they just kept plugging along, and um, I heard some conversation in the dugout that, that was very positive. You know, let's have good at bats. You know, uh, let's keep grinding. So, um, and then they came through. You know, that um, sixth inning when we pushed – Four across and tied, you know, it was just with some good at bats. And, you know, it's, it's good to kind of hear conversations as the game go on because early on, you know, Matt's um, done a good job of, of really um, shutting us down. We had a few good swings, but, you know, that's why you got gloves and the defense out there. You know, they picked up the ball to make the plays. Um, but a uh, very good comeback win for us. It's the feeling when you're in a game, in a situation like that. And you got Jose Ramirez at the plate with the game on the line. Well, it's a good feeling. And, and, and one of the decisions that I, you know, went with with um, pitching Zimmer because I saw him struggling against lefties. And um, I said, look, if I can get back to the top of the order, you know, with Hernandez being a lefty and, you know, Rosario, um, a man, you know, he's had some good at bats. You know, you never know if we get to um, Jose. And, and sure enough, it did. What did you think of Hinges today? You know what, early on, he had some swing and miss. Um, and, you know, I thought he was aggressive throwing the ball. And then I thought that he lost the strike zone. And when the big blow by Hernandez came, um, you know, was going to try to give him a chance to work, you know, through that a little bit, maybe a run, you know, thinking maybe two, but after the big blow, I didn't want it to snowball. And, you know, I, I, I got to stay in the game to kind of give our offense a chance to come back or uh, just, just to be in the game because he was still early. You know, went to Mejia. You know, he done a good job, you know, kind of settling them down. Uh, and then the bullpen, all four of those guys done an outstanding job. Mejia, um, <clears throat> Whitgren, um, Stephen. So, you know, it was just that moment, that big blow kind of done it for me, the, the three-run double by Hernandez. And um, we had my here ready, so we went with him. You mentioned the positive, you know, outlook or attitude in the dugout. Is that especially encouraging to see during a time when you guys are without Fran Mill and kind of looking for production at really any spot that you can find it for? Yeah, I, I think collectively, you know, we we got to do it collectively, you know. Um, and um, it's, it's positive and, you know, it's a good sign that these guys are not giving up um, even in, you know, situations where you're down four or five runs, you know, they, they're still grinding and, you know, that's just a compliment to these players and, um, you know, we're pushing this as an organization to uh, play the game the right way and uh, compete to um, the last out. So uh, it's very good. I, I'm, I'm very pleased with the effort. What do you think of Savali in game one? You know what? I, I thought he was pretty good. And, um, you know, he made a couple of mistakes, the solo home runs. But, you know, you've been around this game long enough. You, you, you're okay with that. Um, you know, early um, in that first game, I, I don't think we helped him as much as we could. You know, the sun got in our eyes. Uh, there was a ball dropped down the right field. Another Q base hit, uh, I think, left field. But, you know, he, he's a competitor. He stayed with it. You know, he, he gave us uh, and kept us in position to uh, come back and win a ball game. You know, like I said, I, I thought he was pretty good. Did you think of how Naylor swung the bat in the first game? Um, just how he swung the bat overall today. You know, he, he's, he's got a, uh, a better plan, I, I would say. You know, when you see him hitting the ball uh, the opposite way and up the middle, you know, we, we know he got the power to turn on it and, and, and hit it out of the ballpark. But, you know, I, I thought this, um, this doubleheader, he had a pretty good approach and, and uh, you know, had, a, had an idea or a thought what he was doing against the lefty. That's not an easy lefty to... Um, to handle, and um, you know, I thought he had some pretty good at bats against him. DeMarlo, when when you see four guys walk in a row like that, is that 
do, does you know the concentration level just pick up from a batter to a batter when they see a guy struggling to throw strikes? Does that just uh, kind of guarantee better at bats almost? Well, I, I, you heard the saying that it get contagious, but you know I, I think also the players realized that there was a little struggle throwing strikes, so um, they they shrunk their strike zone, you know, uh, and and met the the situation that. You know, we were going through in the game at that time. And, you know, that's part of, you know, growing and understanding the game and, and trying to put yourself in the best position, you know, to, uh, you know, have some success and have a good at bat. So it, it was good to see for sure. Yeah, I, I thought we swung the bats better the second game. You know, we hit some balls pretty good. Um, like I said, they, you know, was in the right position. They got gloves on and they, you know, made some plays. So, uh, but it's, it's good to see that that concentration was there, you know, toward the latter part of the game, late innings.